It is a humid night here in South Florida as we welcome you inside Dolphin Stadium in Miami as MLB 06 coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Tonight, the first game of this four-game series as it'll be the Houston Astros taking on the Florida Marlins. And hello again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here to call balls and strikes. Alongside me are colleagues Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler. And Dave, we turn to you first. What should we keep an eye on in this matchup? Well, I'm going to be keeping an eye on young Miguel Cabrera. It's easy to think of him as kind of a grizzled veteran to this point, but he's still just 22 as of opening day this year. After back-to-back -back 33 homer seasons, the sky's the limit with this kid. All right, Dave, thanks. Rex, we'll hear from you shortly, but first, it's time to check out the starting lineup for the defending National League champion Houston Astros. It's brought to us by New Era Cap. Leading things off, Craig Biggio. He'll be at second base. Batting second is the center fielder, Willie Tavares. Next is Morgan Ensberg. He'll be at third base. Lance Berkman will bat in the cleanup spot and play left. Jeff Bagwell is the number five hitter. He's at first base. Then comes Jason Lane. He'll be out in right field. Brad Osmus will bat next, really struggling against right-handed pitching, something to be aware of. Following him is the shortstop, Adam Everett. Ezekiel Estacio will be on the mound for the Astros. He'll bat number nine. And on the mound to face them, the veteran right-hander, Brian Mulder. A lot will be asked of Mulder this season as he'll be expected to stabilize the rotation after missing all of 2004, he'll hope to improve on an up-and-down 2005. And in the field, the Marlins will align themselves like this. And standing in now is the veteran leadoff man, Craig Biggio, as we are ready for baseball. Look out as Ed runs in and gets him, and a very interesting start to this one. Well, you hope that one just got away from him, but you're right. This always raises a few eyebrows. Willie Tavares will stand in, and he's always in danger when he gets aboard, as evidenced by his placement among the National League's best stolen base guys. In the air to straightaway center field. Aguila is there, and he has it for the first out. Morgan Innsberg will dig in, and as you can see, he's been a much better hitter at home this year. At first is Biggio, now the pitch. Fouled back. And he watches a called strike at the knees. No balls and two strikes. Good waste pitch, one and two. And a foul ball straight back. He'll try again, one, two. Ball line fouled as that'll get over the Marlins dugout. And a swing and a ball hit foul heading for the seats. So another foul ball here and it remains one and two. Here's a swing and a high pop-up out in front of the mound. Jacobs is there, two down. But he's safe at first as he gets back in time. Well, he just couldn't get his hands on top of this one. This thing's up in the zone, and he just swings underneath it and lifts an easy pop-up. Lance Berkman will dig in, and as you can see, he's been a much better hitter at home this year.
Throw over to first. Has to dive, but he's back. And a strike at the knees. More like at the shins, but it's nothing in one. Swinging a ground ball towards the middle. And that is through into center field, a base hit. Jeff Bagwell will stand in, and you see what he's done the past couple of weeks as he looks to keep that streak alive. And he swings over the top of it, but chops it foul back to the backstop. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. Good patience there to stay back and watch that all the way. Swing and a bullet to the right side. And that's in there. Base hit. So the bases are loaded here. Two men gone. And set to stand in is Jason Lane, the right fielder. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. One run scores. The throw to the plate. And the catcher has the plate blocked. And he's out at the plate. So only one run scores on the play. So it's a run on three hits. No errors. And two men left on. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. Houston leads this one one to nothing. A look there at the Marlins starting lineup now. Number 32 leads things off and plays second base. Then comes the prized shortstop, Handley Ramirez. Following him is the first baseman, Mike Jacobs. Miguel Cabrera will bat in the cleanup spot and play left. Wes Helms will bat fifth. He's at third base. Next is Jeremy Ermita. He'll be out in right field. Matt Trainer is behind the plate. He'll hit seventh. Chris Aguila bats eighth and plays center. Brian Moeller will bat number nine, and as you've seen, he is on the mound. Ezekiel Estacio gets the ball to face them, and I think the one key will be how aggressive he is on the mound. He's got to get the ball and go right after hitters because he can get into trouble when he nitpicks and falls behind. Defensive alignment courtesy of Rawlings as the Astros line up like this behind him. And to lead off the home half of inning number one, the leadoff hitter digging in at the plate. In there, and it's 0-1. On the ground to third. Throw by Ensberg is right there for the first out. Hanley Ramirez will get his first opportunity now. Hanley Ramirez. First pitch to him. Oh, and he runs up and gets a good one down. And the throw is too late. He's on with a beautifully placed bump single. Mike Jacobs will step in, working on a nice five-game hitting streak. Here's the first pitch to him. In there for strike one, 0-1. Oh Infield at double play depth as they look for two to try to get him out of this. Fastball that time is nowhere close, and it's even at one and one. Reaches for one and slaps it down the line at third. Biggio on to Bagwell, and it's in time. A double play. That'll end the inning. So it's no runs on one hit, no errors, and no one left on. 
second inning coming up here in South Florida. The Astros lead it one to nothing. Brad Osmus leads things off now in the top half of the second. Runs up and gets one down here, but it might not be deep enough. And the throw to first will be in time, so they stamp out the bunt attempt. Adam Everett will step in, and you see there, he's had his troubles away from home thus far. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. Aguila is there now, and it's two pitches, two out. Boy, left that fastball up that time, but he got away with it and got him to fly out. Ezekiel Estacio will be the batter. Catcher. Ezekiel Estacio. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Ball one. Now the one and one pitch. No contact there and it's one and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and none left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. The Astros on top, one to nothing. Leading Miguel off, Cabrera will start things off in the bottom of the second. Miguel Cabrera. Swing and a high pop-up drifting into foul territory. Osmus is underneath this one. And very quickly, one gone. Wes Helms will stand in for the first time here. First pitch on the way. And he gets under this one a bit as this is lifted into center field. There to take it is Tavares, and that'll be out number two. Jeremy Hermida will dig in, and as you can see, he's been a much better hitter at home this year. Right fielder, Jeremy Hermida. Here it comes. And he takes ball one. Lays off a fastball that doesn't miss by much, and it's 2-0. and Good discipline there. And here's a fastball for a strike. 2-1 and one now. Strike on the fastball, so from 2-0, two and oh, it's 2-2 two and two now. And an off-speed pitch, swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. So no runs here on no hits, no errors, and no one left on. We played two full. Houston leads this one, one to nothing. Craig Biggio will step in, and you see by the numbers, he's been a much better road hitter thus far. Biggio. 
Now here's the first pitch. Swing and a hot shot down the line. But this will be speared at third, and that was self-defense all the way. One gun. Willie Tuberis will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Runs up and gets one down here, but it might not be deep enough. Throw not going to get him, and Tavares is aboard on a well-placed bun single. So a runner at first with one man gone, and digging in the third baseman, Morgan Ensberg. A look at Tavares, and now the pitch. Now a swing and a hard hit ball back through the box. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. So first and second with one man gone. And we'll see how they approach this at bat from Lance Berkman. Now a spin and a throw back to second. And he just manages to get his hand in. Softly to third, this could be two. One there. Back to Jacobs, but it's too late and they get just the one. So it's first and third with two away and in steps Bagwell. From the belt, kicks and deals. There's a strike at the knees, 0-1. And one of the reasons this guy's been in the bigs for so long is that he knows the importance of first pitch strikes. Strike two. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. Jason Lane will take his cuts now. Jason Lane. First pitch coming. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. Two men are on with two men out. Now a swing, and there's a ball hit high in the air, deep to straightaway center field. Long run, but he gets there to track this one down, and a very nicely recorded out number three. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. Astros lead this one two to nothing. Matt Painter makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. First pitch coming. Ball hit pretty well out toward left center. Tavares is right there, and it's a very quick out number one. So one out now for the Marlins in their half of the third. And standing in is Chris Aguila, the center fielder. Now a ground ball towards the hole. Oh, just in time, and oh, that was awfully close. Brian Moeller will get his first cuts here. Brian Moeller. Runs up and gets one down here, but it might not be deep enough. And he is going to be thrown out at first. Sort of a head scratcher there as the side is retired. So they pick up no runs, no base hits, no errors, and no one left on. Three innings complete. The Astros lead it two to nothing. Brad Osmus will stand in. Catcher, Brad Osmus.
And, hmm, not quite sure what was wrong with that one, but it's 1-0. And this is fouled straight back. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Called strike two. If you can keep planting that pitch there, you'll be in good shape. Now the 2-2 pitch. Swing and a hard hit ball back up the middle. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. Boy, seven hits in the ball game, all singles. Obviously, these guys didn't eat their spinach before this one. Adam Everett will try it again. He flew out his first time. First pitch is a cutter looked at 0-1. Well, this is what veteran pitchers do. They know the importance of getting ahead in the count. Pause, now the pitch. In there, and it's 0-2 now. Now a swing and a soft liner. And the throw will go to second as they get the force out. And the relay won't nearly be in time as he's there easily. We'll get a look here. That was going to be a tough turn. Good effort, but they couldn't get the two. Ezekiel Estacio will take a long look down here as he may be bunning to avoid the double play. Look out as this runs in and gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. Yeah, no sir, Matt, but it looks like he's going to be all right. So let's see what kind of impact this has on the game from here on out. Craig Biggio oh, will step in, and you see by the numbers, he's been a much second better baseline. road hitter thus far. Craig Biggio. And a fastball's in there for strike one. And that's a sign of a veteran pitcher getting ahead early in the count. Swing and a miss, and he's in control 0-2. Boy, he'd need a sand wedge to get that. He's set, now the pitch. Now a swing and a high fly ball, and this one has some carry on it to deep right field. Hermida is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. And he is safe on a close play. Willie Tavares will step in, one for two in the ball game. And a curveball to begin the at-bat, 0-1. Tough pitch to start the at-bat. Now a swing and a ball grounded to second. Throw on to Jacobs at first, he'll take care of him, and the inning is over. So no runs on one base hit, no errors, and two left. To the bottom of inning number four we go. Houston leads this one two to nothing. Number 32 will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Number 32. Lays off the slider. 
Don't know quite where that missed, but it's 1-0. Ball two now. And that's a sign of maturity not to go after that pitch. And a 2-0 fastball runs away. 3-0 now. This is a guy you don't need to get cute with up there. Just go right after him. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Hanley Ramirez digs in at the plate. Hanley Ramirez. Now a bunt attempt here. Well, that kicks foul at the last moment. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Maybe a good spot for a hit and run here, Matt. Let's see if they want to try something. Now a throw over to first and a dive, but he's back. Swing and a ball pulled down the line at third. Throw just in time as they get him by an eyelash. Relay throw, but it'll be too late as he's well safe at first. Pretty good job on the turn there. Have a look. But it just developed a little too slowly to get the double play. Mike Jacobs will get another shot. He hit into a double play his last time. Here's the first offering. Ball one. And he hasn't been behind many hitters to this point, but he's down 1-0 and oh here. And that's swung on and missed on a pitch down 1-1. One and one. Slider clocked in the mid-80s there. It's a ball and two strikes. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. And that's the pitch, guys, will just beat into the ground. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Well, and the reason he's having this early success is because he's been changing speeds effectively. You saw it right there. That's what you got to do. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And here comes young Miguel Cabrera. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Swing and a broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. And a close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. Morgan Ensberg leads things off when we come back. They're up two to nothing. Morgan Ensberg will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Morgan Ensberg. Line hard into left. And no shot for Cabrera as that falls for a hit. And you know, when you're trailing in a ball game, the last thing you want to do is let the leadoff guy get aboard. Now it's right back to the stretch. 
Lance Berkman will dig in. And as you can see, he's been a much better hitter at home this year. And that's in there for strike one. Getting ahead, always a key when you're facing a guy like this. Good cut there from Berkman, but he comes up empty, and it's 0-2. Now here's a ball heading for the right field corner. This has the distance, and it stays fair. Home run. Number 14 on the season as they move on top 4-0. Jeff Bagwell is at the plate as he watches ball one. Tried to get some loft to that swing, but it's one and one. Ah, the location mistake there, but he couldn't capitalize. And the pitch. Swing and the ball hit hard on the ground at first. Jason Lane will dig in. One for two thus far. Jason Lane. Watch out, this batter. Now a ball lined to the right side. And that'll get down for a base hit. Sergio Mitre will be the new pitcher. Now pitching for the Marlins. Number 52. Sergio Mitre. Brad Osmus will stride in. He singled in his last plate appearance. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball, 1-0. Oh. And this is just off the outside corner, ball 2. Outside locator that time, but a good job to lay off. Two well count, the pitch. Tries to uppercut that thing, but missed it, 2-1. Line to left. That's in there. Base hit. Adam Everett will step in. And you see there, he's had his troubles away from home thus far. In there for strike one. And with the infield at double play depth, it looks like they'll trade a run for two outs. And he takes strike two. And with a few pitches to play with, let's see if they get him to chase something here. On a good curveball, gets him swinging for route number one. And we'll see this from his eyes. Batting averages, of course, go way down when the count is 0-2. So he's trying to be aggressive here, and it doesn't pay off. Ezekiel Estacio will step in now. First pitch on the way. Uh, chased after that one, and it's nothing in one.
Ah, he just ramps up and gears the fastball by him. 0-2. Here's a swing and a ball hit softly on a line. And that's in there. Base hit. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate. And not in time as the second run scores. So two men are on with one man out. And here's the great veteran Craig Biggio. Opposite field, high and deep to right. Hermida back to the track as he takes it for route number two. Willie Tavares will get another crack, one for three thus far. Lays off the slider. Don't know quite where that missed, but it's 1-0. And 2-0 as this one's taken low. Four runs here in this half inning. And he misses again with it here. It's 3-0 now. And sometimes young pitchers like this will try to overthrow that fastball. Here he comes on 3-0. and Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. And he misses with it for ball four, so the bases will be loaded now with two away. One swing of the bat could really make him pay for that. Morgan Innsberg will get another opportunity here as they've batted around now. And waiting for him to call a strike, but he never did. It's 1-0. and Boy, he's about to lose his mind out there on the mound. Bad time to shrink that strike zone now. Here's the 1-0. And he misses again, 2-0. He's really digging his own grave now. He's got to come in here, but he just can't lay it in there. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. Hermida is there, and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. So they strike for four runs in the inning, but are denied a chance to really do damage as they leave the bases loaded. Home half of the fifth coming up. Astros lead this one six to nothing. Wes Helms will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. And this ball will be chopped foul. Swing and a ball hit hard to third. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. Jeremy Hermida will dig in, and you see by the breakdown, he's really seeing the ball well this month. And that's in there for a strike. Yeah, most guys aren't looking change up to begin in that bat. The pitch. Swing and a shot toward right center. And that'll fall. And we'll see here. Matt Cleaner will try and turn things around here as he's really cooled off this month.
Now here's the first pitch. Foul back. Boy, and that is just a terrible hack. It's nothing in two. No need to panic down 0-2. Just need to focus on making a little contact. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. And did he hold up in time? A look down, and yes, he went around. It's strike three. Chris Aguila will try and get things going because, as you can see, he's just not hitting the ball well this month. First pitch to him. And this is hit well towards the hole. Throw on to Bagwell's in time, and with it, the inning draws to a close. So five shutout innings for him thus far. Five innings complete. The Astros on top, six to nothing. Lance Berkman will be the batter. Two for three with a home run thus far. Lance Berkman. Here's the first pitch to him. And a called strike down in the zone, nothing in one. And good hitters like this will just let it go by and wait for a pitch they can do something with. Sticks with the fastball here as he forges ahead 0-2. And he looks at a ball, one and two. And he lays off it to even the count, two and two. And he buzzed him with that one a bit. Curveball, and he buckled him, but it's full three and two. Jeff Bagwell will be next. 3-2 pitch. Now a ball swung on and hit high in the air and deep to left center field. This ball has a chance, but that'll hit off the wall in left center. We'll take another look. This ball's pretty well hit, and it's going to bang off that teal monster in left as he pulls in with a double. Jeff Bagwell will stand in. He homered back in the fifth inning of this one. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Has a look, now the pitch. Now a sinker runs in on him a bit as he's got to step out of the way there. Center field. Aguila is right there, one down. The relay throw, and it's in time as he's out at third as the good relay gets him. Jason Lane will step in. Singleton came around to score his last time. Now a fastball as he has to lean out of the way there. And he's not afraid to run pitches inside on hitters. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball one and one. Two and one. The 2-1-1 now to Lane. 
fooled by the speed and location of that one. It's two and two. Well, he might be 24, but he's throwing here like he's a 10-year vet. On the ground down the first baseline, foul. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. High in the air and deep down the left field line. Now he drops a changeup on him. Strike three called and a great pitch there to retire the side. So it's no runs, one hit, no errors, and none left. Nine, one, and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. Houston leads this one six to nothing. Lenny Harris will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 10, Lenny Harris. And he lays off there 1-0. Kept waiting for him to signal strike one, but he never did. Now a swing and a ground ball to third. Throw by Ensberg is right there for the first out. Number 32 will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ball game. Starts him out with a changeup off the plate for ball one. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. Osmus sets up the 1-1. One, one. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. And he misses badly with a fastball here, and it's 3-1 and one now. Boy, and this is not a guy to dilly-dally with. They need to go right after him. Fastball too low, and that's ball four. And at 3-1, and one, you can afford to look for something up a little, so he wasn't going to bite on that low one. Henley Ramirez will stand in. He grounded into a fielder's choices last time. Here's a fastball upstairs, 1-0. And when guys get tired, they have a tendency to start leaving that pitch up. Got to be careful. Swung on and missed, 1-1. One one. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Runners on first with one down. From the belt, the pitch. Swing and the ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. In the air to center. And he can't come up with it. But he is in there as they can't get him at second. So a struggle that time for him in center field. And as a result, he'll be tagged with the E8 on the play. Mike Jacobs will try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. Jacobs. 
swing and a ball hit high and deep to left center. And this will be over the teal monster for a home run. Number 11 for him on the season. And with that, it's now a 6-3 ball game. Well, and that monster you talked about goes 33 feet out there at its highest point, so there are no cheapies when you hit them out there. That was a bomb. So a call to the bullpen now as right-hander Chad Qualls is set to take over on the mound. Miguel Cabrera will try and turn things around here as he's really cooled off this month. Now a swing and a ball hit foul to first as the first base coach had to do a little skip to my Lou there. Now the pitch. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. Looks pretty good out of the bullpen so far. Now a swing, but oh, oh too far in front as this one had the distance, but is well fouled. Slider gets him swinging, two gone. Wes Helms will step in, a ground out victim as last time. Lays off the slider. Don't know quite where that missed, but it's 1-0. Oh. Three runs already home here. One all pitch is a splitter in there, one and one. Swung on and popped sky high to the right side of the infield. Bagwell is camped under this one, and that will retire the side. So three runs in the inning on just one hit, but it was a big one, the home run. We're through six full. The Astros lead it six to three. Randy Messenger is on, and he'll take over on the mound. For the Marlins, number 23, Randy Messenger. Brad Osmus will dig in, looking for hit number three in the ballgame. Lays off the slider. Don't know quite where that missed, but it's 1-0. Oh. Fastball, and that thing got up there at 95 miles an hour. A ball and a strike. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Boy, pretty close right there. That's a strike in my book. Ready with the 2-1. Now a fastball hit on the ground towards second. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Adam Everett will step in, and you see there he's had his troubles away from home thus far. Too low, 1-0. One, oh. one out, nobody on.
1-0 pitch is right there, but ruled a ball. 2-0. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. Fielded there by Helms. Throw to Jacobs is in time, and that's out number two. Chad Qualls will be the batter. Curve ball taken outside to begin the at bat. Ball one. Fastball in there for a strike. 92 on the radar gun that time. Good location on the outside corner there. One and two. Just a perfect spot for that fastball. Here it comes. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. Two out, nobody on. Change up misses, and it's full three and two. Boy, and that's the pitcher up there. You've got to throw strikes here. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. Astros go down one, two, three. They still lead it six to three. Jeremy Hermida will dig in, and as you can see, he's been a much better hitter at home this year. Jeremy Hermida. Called strike on the corner. He didn't like that call. I don't blame him. High pop up to the left side of the infield. Ensberg is under this one. And he's got it for out number one. Matt Kleiner will stand in. And you see he's really struggled at home thus far. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw on to Bagwell's in time, and there are two gone. Chris Aguila will stride in, rounded out his last time through. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. When he's on, a pitch like that will take the sting out of your bat. Low, it's a ball and a strike. Here's the 1 1. And this is low, ball two, two and one. And with a pitcher spot on deck, they may work around this guy and try to force the other team's hand. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. The pitcher's spot would hit next. Swing and a hard ground ball to third. Dive, but it's just past his outstretched glove for a base hit. Well, he's still got a little wiggle room here with a three-run lead, but with two outs, he needs to make sure he keeps that possible tying run in the on-deck circle. Number 87 will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 87. 
And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. Time to be a good two-strike hitter here. That means just concentrating on making solid contact. Rounded to third. Throw on to Bagwell's in time, and with it, the inning draws to a close. So they pick up no runs on one hit, no errors, and a runner left on. Eighth inning coming up. Astros lead this one 6-3. Chris Wiesop will come in and pitch now. Now pitching for the Marlins, number 44. Craig eight. Biggio will get us going now Second in the top half right. of the eighth. Craig Biggio. And he lays off a fastball. Looked good, but it's 1-0. and Yeah, and he'll look for something a little higher here. And he misses low with it, 2-0. and Here comes the 2-0. Mm, much too quick on the trigger there. It's two and one. Who might be only 23, but he's got poise out there beyond his years. On the ground to third. He's got it. Throw gets him at first, and I'll tell you what, they don't come much better than what you saw right there. Willie Tavares will get another crack, one for three thus far. And they go right after him on the inside corner for strike one. I don't think he was expecting to do so on the first pitch, Matt. And the pitch. And there's ball one. Swing and a miss. Good sinking action there. One and two. Pretty well hit. Deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats foul. And this is in the dirt here as it bounds a few feet away. The pitch. And this is a strike three called. Oh, caught a break there. Two away. Morgan Ensberg will dig in now. Two hits in four at-bats thus far tonight. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Swing and a liner towards second. But this won't get over the second baseman's glove as he's got it to end the inning. One, two, three, go the Astros as they're unable to add to their six to three lead. Number 32 will step in. A couple of walks thus far. Number 32. And he starts him out with a splitter for a called strike. The catcher didn't even have to move his glove for that one.
One and one. Now the pitch. Outside, two and one. Trying to backdoor him, but it stays outside just a bit. Two one pitches, a fastball swung on and missed two and two. And he checked his swing, but it's a strike three called, and that's the first out of the inning. Hanley Ramirez will get another crack, one for three thus far. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Wouldn't be a surprise to see him continue to work that outside corner. in there and he's in control 0-2 now. Here's the pitch. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. So two are gone here in the Florida eighth and here's the young first baseman, Mike Jacobs. Mike Jacobs. Change up a little bit inside, 1 and 0. Oh. Hit hard towards second. There to play it is Biggio. Throw on to Bagwell's in time, and with it, the inning draws to a close. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We played eight full. The Astros on top. Six to three. Lance Berkman to get us started as they look for a little insurance here in the top of the ninth. First pitch coming. Now a ball crushed high in the air, deep to left, way back there, and that one is long gone. Home run number 15 for him thus far, his second of the game, as it is now 7-3. to three. Jeff Bagwell stands in as he looks at a cold strike. Now a hard liner, but this will be a foul ball. And a foul ball straight back. And here's a ball in the air now, carrying a bit out toward right center. Aguila is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. Jason Lane will try and get things going because, as you can see, he's just not hitting the ball well this month. And he misses inside with that one, ball one. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. The 2-0. That one's in there on the black. Two and one. 
Boy, that's just not a pitch you can do much with. Hard cutter on the outer half, that's nasty. Oh, he wanted that one, but it misses for ball three. Hit hard, but it is just foul, so he'll have to try and straighten that out a bit. Inside, he misses ball four. Yeah, Matt, he made him throw a lot of pitches. That was a great at bat. Brad Osmus will try again. Two for four in the ball game. Now a bunt attempt here. And this is going to be a foul ball. Now a move over to first. Oh, and it froze him, and they got him. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. And he missed with it. It's one and two. Hit on the ground towards first. The flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. So one run on one base hit the home run. No errors and no one left on base. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, and six coming up. Houston leads this one seven to three. Leading Miguel Cabrera will step in, and you see by the numbers, he's been a much better road hitter thus far. First pitch on the way. In there, 0 and 1. Let's see if he'll nibble at the corners here once he gets ahead. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. West Helm will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. This is taken outside for ball one. One oh on the way. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. Bases are empty, one man out. And he pulled up in time, but it's a cold strike two. Swing and a high drive, deep left field. Should stay in the ballpark. And a nice play as he reaches up to grab it on the run for the second out. Just one out away now from putting this one in the win column. Jeremy Hermida will stand in as their last chance now. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. Here it comes. And he misses with it, one and one.
One and two now as this catches the outer half. Down to their last strike, so they certainly have their backs up against it. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw on to first, and the ball game is over. Well, this might not have been one for the ages, but it was still a good competitive game here, folks. That's all you can really ask for. So the Astros come away with a victory here, and meanwhile, Dave's got our majestic play of the game. Yeah, Matt, this one came back in the very first inning. It was just a single and didn't seem like much at the time, but it got him going here and put him on an early track to victory. Time to hand out upper deck player of the game honors for this one. And guys, I think we can all agree that this fella right here deserves it more than anybody that took the field in this one. Yeah, a couple of home runs in a ball game is pretty special. You could tell he was really dialed in up there and he had a whale of a game. So that brings us to the conclusion of this one. For my colleagues Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler and all of us here at the show, this is Matt Vaskersian saying thanks for joining us here this evening. Once again, our final score, the Astros win this thing 7-3. This has been a presentation of MLB 06 The Show. For more, log on to MLB06.com. Good night, everybody.